I encourage if you're a dude watching this, go look at your toes and then look at your pinky toe right now and see if your pinky toe curves inward toward your toward your big toe. And if it does, that means your your your, to, your, your shoes are deforming your toes. Hey, what's up? It's Tina, and here I give you tools to talk with your authentic charisma so you can be socially unbreakable. I was on an IG Live not too long ago because I was bored in quarantine and I just got on. Matt from Engineer Truth. We got into this IG Live together and we we're just talking about nothing in the beginning and <laughs> eventually he really gets me interested in his new product which are our shoes leather shoes for men so it's not necessarily a product for me however i was so enthusiastic about it and you'll see exactly why so so my shoe it has a wide toe box right and it, aesthetically it's not very pretty because it's a wide toe box but mm -hmm. The narrow toe boxes like damage your toes long term. You have like long term deformation from narrow toe boxes. The way I advertise it is that you're not buying a shoe, you're buying not deformed feet. <laughs> like, oh my yeah. god! <laughs> so, yeah, the best copy that's worked so far is like stop the pain, stop, stop deforming your toes has been like the best headline. Stop the pain and what? Uh, it was either like stop. Stop the pain of narrow toe shoe boxes, or or stop deforming your toes. I forgot which one's the best one. Yeah. Yeah. That's so smart. Okay. Because that it really sense. does, though. Like, if you look at men's dress shoes, um, and lo like a lot of sneakers, like Converse's, they do deform your toes over time. So I try That's to like crazy. highlight that. Yeah, it's it's really it's really, actually if you're a dude and you look at your toes right now, you notice your pinky toe. Well, well, I encourage if you're a dude watching this, go look at your toes, and then look at your pinky toe, right now and see if your pinky toe curves inward toward your toward your big toe and if it does that means your your your, to, your, your shoes are deforming your toes like legitimately is causing but that, like like chinese binding chinese foot binding shit going on and you yeah know, it's like yeah except like less severe, yeah but but still on the, like basically essentially the same thing yeah make a good yeah the market for shoes is much better than physical for shoes i show you, you the diagram you got it's actually my my foot and my oh, mid foot yeah yeah we have a diagram can i rotate this uh so you guys see that Let's see here so that's the page but yeah so we guys look there so so this is actually let me let me do it closer there so that's actually what toes are not supposed to look like but that's actually what a lot of males toes end up looking like because they wear narrow toe shoe boxes so that's why it's it's really messed up. And then my that's my those are my toes because I don't wear narrow toe box shoes. I wear flip flops so I can get them open. But you notice that like, my toes they evenly spread out. Like this is a real this is a really big deal. Like this is how your toes are naturally supposed to spread out. Like it makes a lot of sense. Your toes are not supposed to be like this. But if you wear regular shoes, your toes will end up like that. And it's crazy. I never knew that. Yeah. So that's why I put it on like right there because like. It's pretty much right under the product box because uh, people have to. Un there's, if once you see it, you cannot unsee it. Because now, uh, what's it called? Like now that I'm aware of, it, I'm coming out with the shoe brand. Any time someone like takes off their shoe, I instantly look at their pinky toe. That's the first thing I look at. Then like, because I'm like, because I know if th I think the turning point for someone that isn't aware of this is like, they look at their own toes and they look at their what healthy toes are supposed to look like and then what their own toes look like and then they're like oh yeah i have fucked up toes <laughs> like yeah yeah and then yeah if you think about it like 100 bucks or 150 bucks to not get fucked up toes is a pretty good price <laughs> well, that's pretty good well because now you're you're reaching into health yes and wellness. but the thing is the reason why i saw the niche for this is because i i, I had the problem myself and that i was trying to find shoes that look that look good but we're comfortable. So I'm not sure if this, I think this is what a true, a true for women too, but what, from what I've seen is you either have a shoe that really looks good, but they have like absolutely no fucking concern at all for comfort or ergonomics, or you have a shoe that cared all about ergonomics and looks like shit. Like they had to put like random stripes on it, like random fucking uh, um, sole lines and like random fucking, the, the, for whatever reason, they have to go all fucking crazy on the outsole. Like just a bunch of shit. It's like, for example, we'll say like Payless. Very comfortable shoes, but like they just add a bunch of like it. It just doesn't look quite right, you know. Like yeah, like but it's wide, it's comfortable. So I was like, okay, why don't we just like take the design of the the, the cool shoe, 
add all the aspects of what makes you comfortable because you don't need it like what, what i don't understand is like how come payless i feel like they intentionally make the shoe ugly it's comfortable but they intentionally make it ugly so i was like okay let's just put put two and two together and so i just took the aspects that of like a really nice designer shoe and then the comforts of a payless shoe or a sketchers and then put them together and that was the idea that's awesome was this something somebody came to you with or something that you developed on your own personal it's very personal <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah but we'll see. Crazy. yeah we'll see i'm still uh still still validating the idea but i've already paid for the mass production but i was so enthusiastic about it and the reason why is because he was so enthusiastic about it <laughs> and it's just this energy that came about you can see in the beginning i'm a little bit whatever about what he was talking about of course i'm hearing i'm listening but i'm not too interested <laughs> i'm sorry matt i mean of course <laughs> you're a very interesting person but i wasn't really interested in the topic of the matter but you can tell that matt kept pushing he was pushing because he was saying oh but also this oh but also that and it usually if somebody was let's say being a pushy salesperson you can see the intent isn't to share the intent is to uh, um, convince somebody and those two energy is very key to this because matt had the energy of wanting to share clearly specifically to me he didn't care that i was going to buy men's shoes because i am a woman clearly i will not and of course there are people on this ig live but it was super casual and super random so it's not like we got an ig live together for any particular purpose or mission he was just sharing to share and he had this enthusiastic vibe about him of oh wait wait let me show you this let me show you that you know when you find a new tv show or movie that you really really love on netflix or otherwise and you just can't wait to share it with somebody and you just say oh but this character oh but also just to let you know there's this other character who the actor is this person and you know you love that person and so they're kind of convincing you but really they're sharing because they want to share their enthusiasm with you they want to share their love with you and that's the best kind of way to influence somebody is sharing something that means so much to you most people don't come to my video because they love verbal fluency so freaking much that they had to search it and they found my video most people who found one of my top ranking videos found it because they were searching something else they saw the video and a lot of my comments says oh i had no idea this was even a thing and in my dms people dm me saying oh i'm so glad that i know about verbal fluency so that tells me that they didn't search for the term verbal fluency they wanted to speak better for some reason they wanted to be better on stage they wanted to present better whether it was in their college or at their work and so whatever their reasoning for finding my video verbal fluency itself was not the reasoning the point being that if you want to influence somebody and convince them you have to come at it from an overall energy of i just really want to share when we're talking about bringing energy out into the camera or even energy out into another human being we have to have an innate rapport built with either an object which is the camera or a human being whether that person be a stranger or not and so there has to be a certain level of comfortability with your subject matter of course of course and then also whoever you're projecting towards whoever you're projecting towards i think it is super super easy to become super enthusiastic when you freaking actually love that thing that you're talking about so if you are planning on starting a youtube channel or you are thinking to become a creator or you're opening a business and you're writing down copy just make sure that you get into the energy and mindset of i am super wanting to share this to my best friend ever and they just got to know that, that this is a thing and and they 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 just they just need to know about it not that you want to follow them into a particular goal or action but that energy of wanting to share so freaking badly because you just think it's so freaking cool 
also by the way if you happen to be interested in the leather shoes that Matt spoke about I have a link down below as well hit that subscribe button and hit that like button comment below if this was helpful other than that go out and raise your vibe